God does not play dice with the universe. A mysterious assertion by Albert Einstein, but what did he mean by this? Albert Einstein, a towering figure in the world of physics, made this statement during a time of groundbreaking discoveries. It was the early 20th century, a period ripe with transformation as the old Newtonian physics gave way to the strange and unpredictable realm of quantum mechanics. In the heart of this scientific revolution, Einstein stood firm on his belief in a deterministic universe. To him, this meant that every event, every occurrence in the universe followed precise, predictable laws. Unlike the probabilistic nature of quantum mechanics, which suggests that at a subatomic level, things happen by chance, Einstein believed in an underlying order, a cosmic rulebook that governed everything from the fall of an apple to the motion of planets. As we delve deeper, let's explore why Einstein was at odds with the emerging theories of his time. Albert Einstein, a titan of physics, championed the deterministic view of the universe. His groundbreaking theories not only revolutionized our understanding of time and space, but also firmly supported the idea that the universe operates under strict laws, predictable and absolute. Einstein's journey into the fabric of cosmos began with his theory of special relativity, introduced in 1905. This theory transformed our understanding of time and space, suggesting they are interwoven into a single continuum, space-time. It famously encapsulated in the equation E eclat mc2, which highlights the relationship between energy and mass, suggesting that the two are interchangeable. A decade later, Einstein expanded this framework to include the force of gravity in his general theory of relativity. Here, he proposed that massive objects cause a distortion in space-time, which is what we perceive as gravity. It's akin to placing a heavy ball on a stretched cloth, causing it to dip, and other smaller balls to spiral towards it. This was not just a leap in understanding gravity, it was a completely new way of describing the universe. Einstein's deterministic universe was one where events are not random, but are instead determined by the preceding states of the universe. In his view, if you knew all the laws of physics and the entire state of the universe at one moment, you could predict everything that would happen in the future. This is the essence of determinism. The belief that all events, including moral choices, are completely determined by previously existing causes. His famous quip, God does not play dice, underscores his discomfort with the emerging quantum mechanics, which, unlike his deterministic universe, dealt heavily in probabilities and uncertainties. Einstein's reluctance to embrace quantum theory was rooted in his belief that the theory was incomplete, a mere statistical approximation of an underlying reality that was fully deterministic. Yet the quantum mechanics proposed by his contemporaries suggested a different story. Enter quantum mechanics, a field that turned classical physics on its head. When we delve into the subatomic world, things start to behave in ways that defy our everyday understanding of reality. Quantum mechanics introduces us to a realm where particles can exist in multiple states simultaneously until they are observed. At the heart of quantum mechanics lies the concept of the wave function, a mathematical description of the quantum state of a particle. This wave function isn't just a tool for predictions, it embodies the particle's probabilities of being in various states. Imagine a particle that doesn't just travel from point A to point B, but explores every possible path between those points at the same time. It's only when we measure it that the particle chooses a position, collapsing all other probabilities. This is what's known as the collapse of the wave function. This probabilistic nature of quantum mechanics is encapsulated in Heisenberg's uncertainty principle. It tells us that certain pairs of properties like position and momentum cannot both be precisely measured at the same time. The more accurately we know one, the less accurately we can know the other. This isn't due to flaws in measurement tools, but a fundamental property of the universe at the quantum level. Yet this randomness is not about chaos. It's a calculated form of unpredictability governed by probabilities. Every outcome can be calculated with precision in terms of likelihood, but not certainty. This is fundamentally different from the deterministic views of classical physics, where the present can predict the future exactly if all initial conditions are known. Quantum mechanics has led to profound applications, from quantum computing to secure communications, all based on these principles of uncertainty and superposition. But at its core, it challenges our very understanding of reality. This inherent randomness was exactly what Einstein struggled to accept. Niels Bohr and the Copenhagen interpretation brought probability to the forefront of physics. At the heart of this fascinating quantum theory lies a concept that sounds like it was plucked from a science fiction novel. Imagine a world where particles like electrons exist in a smorgasbord of potential states simultaneously. 
It isn't until someone observes these particles that they settle into one particular state. This is the essence of the Copenhagen interpretation. Introduced in the 1920s by Niels Bohr and Werner Heisenberg, this theory was a radical departure from the classical physics that preceded it. Classical physics, which was more deterministic, suggested that every event in the universe followed from a previous one in a predictable way. In stark contrast, the Copenhagen interpretation embraces the inherent uncertainty of quantum mechanics. According to this interpretation, quantum particles do not have definite properties or states unless they are being observed. Before observation, they exist in a superposition, a mix of all possible states. When observed, these particles collapse into one of the possible states. This phenomenon might remind you of a die that is in a state of having landed on all its faces at once, only revealing its final state when you look at it. But what does this mean for reality? The Copenhagen interpretation suggests that before observation, reality is a cloudy sea of probabilities. It is only the act of measurement that crystallizes out a particular outcome from this cloud. This idea introduces a fundamental randomness to the very fabric of reality, a randomness that is intrinsic and unavoidable. This probabilistic nature of quantum mechanics was a point of contention between Niels Bohr and Albert Einstein. Einstein famously retorted, God does not play dice with the universe, expressing his discomfort with the idea that the universe is governed by probabilities rather than deterministic laws. This interpretation led to the famous Einstein-Bohr debates, where reality itself was questioned. The discussions between these two great minds underline a profound shift in our understanding of the universe a shift from certainty to probability, from definitive outcomes to a spectrum of possibilities. This is not just the story of quantum mechanics. It's a narrative about the very nature of reality itself. Decades later, the debate between determinism and probabilism in physics continues. In the ever-evolving landscape of physics, the tug of war between the ideas of determinism and probabilism is more vibrant than ever. At the heart of this debate lies the question, does the universe operate on strict laws that we can predict, or does it play out in probabilities and chances? Let's delve into some of the modern perspectives that continue to shape this discussion. One of the most intriguing aspects of contemporary physics is the phenomenon of quantum entanglement. This peculiar aspect of quantum mechanics suggests that particles can become entangled in such a way that the state of one particle can instantaneously affect the state of another, no matter the distance between them. This phenomenon seems to challenge the very fabric of classical physics and suggests a probabilistic nature to the universe, where outcomes are intrinsically unpredictable. Another compelling theory in modern physics is the many worlds interpretation. This interpretation posits that all possible outcomes of quantum measurements are physically realized, each in a different, newly created universe. According to this view, it's not that the universe plays dice but rather that it plays every possible throw of the dice simultaneously in a vast multiverse. This interpretation sidesteps the question of probability in a single universe by proposing that every outcome happens somewhere in the multiverse. Experiments, too, continue to push the boundaries of our understanding. The double-slit experiment, revisited with modern technology, reinforces the idea that particles behave differently when observed. It suggests a universe that exists in a state of probability until measured. As physicists probe deeper into the fabric of reality, they uncover more questions than answers. The interplay between determinism and probabilism remains a central theme in the quest to understand our universe. The question remains, is the universe governed by chance or by law? As we've journeyed through the cosmos of physics, we've encountered profound questions and intriguing answers from Einstein's steadfast belief in a deterministic universe where everything happens according to precise laws to the startling revelations of quantum mechanics, which suggest that at a fundamental level, the universe plays by a set of probabilistic rules. Albert Einstein famously resisted the idea that the universe operates on chance, encapsulated in his statement, God does not play dice. He believed in an underlying order and predictability to all things. Contrastingly, the Copenhagen interpretation of quantum mechanics introduced a world where probabilities and uncertainties are not just possible, but fundamental. This dichotomy has fueled ongoing debates within the scientific community. Does the universe follow predetermined paths, or is it influenced by randomness and probabilities? These questions remain at the heart of physics today. Whether God plays dice with the universe may still be up for debate, but one thing is certain. Our understanding of the universe is still evolving.